I find volleyball just being one of those sports that it involves a lot of life. It requires six players to be involved in a team element. You know, you, you cannot have an individual. You messed up. Okay, let's see. We are right now, excuse me, gentlemen. Important for you to all hear too. We talk about a winning philosophy. Okay, I think every kid likes to, likes to bond, attach to something, especially boys. Um, they, they want to belong to something. So I teach them that they belong to a family. And then that family becomes a team. And then that team becomes a winning program. Giving them that family outside of family uh, is also important to them. Okay, we have this two right here, squeeze. I give them me, and, and me is the real person. Okay, go look in the first aid box, bring me some tape, we're gonna go ahead and tape those two right there. Uh, I find my, in my own character, I'm a lovable person, uh, very compassionate about what I do and how I do it, uh, passionate about what I do, and I think that's important for, for young men to see. I'm a parent, uh, I've raised uh, foster children, I have a birth child, um, and many of these kids become my own children too, so it's about values. In our, um, in our last game, in our last game against uh, Laguna Beach, okay, our last game against Laguna Beach, what do you recall as being a tough moment? Part of teaching is building comprehension, and so it's about asking questions. What do you notice you're doing with your left shoulder? Leaving it down, right? Where should it be going? In transition, where is that player likely not going to be? No, no, no. Front row hitters, where are they going? Oh, they're going out plate so. Okay, now of course by this time you would have studied the team, right? Yeah. They give students to really reflect and think about their actions as well as their reactions to various situations. It also assures me that they are connecting with me, understanding what I'm trying to get them to understand. Defense front row, what do I see with defense? Lazy what? So where's your hands be? Hey Gene, give me the three P's to this game. Okay, posture, pass, pursuit, here we go. Posture, pass, pursuit, here we are. Good job. I want to make them cognizant of the things that uh, are really occurring. The, there is practicality in things that we do. Uh, there's always a life lesson in everything that we do. And so to motivate them as young men growing up is to help them understand that whatever task is in place, that it has a value to it. And so that value is interpreted into a life skill. To have them reflect on how they will always be using something in life is about personal motivation. All right, have a seat real quick. Uh, Mondo, you guys come on. <laughs> All right, so let's transition back a little bit, okay? Let's go back to day number one when we came into this gym. What was our focus when we came into this gym? No BS. Then the commitment, okay, understanding what commitment is. They're here to have fun, they want to come and practice, they want to leave, they'll come when they want to come, uh, they leave when they want to leave, that kind of thing. We have to stop those kind of things to teach discipline. Getting them to realize their own potential and how much they have to grow and change uh, in order to attain that potential. Because they come in with a preconceived mind. You know, they, they're here to change the world and they have no, no experience in doing so. Remember the question Jacob asked you? Okay. Do you believe you're a champion? And do you trust yourself? All right. We are challenged to take care of the less fortunate. And that's a biblical principle. Um, bringing that very same attitude to these young men that I work with every single day, I, I find very important. Uh, it's about helping them to achieve personal satisfaction. When they themselves see that they're doing good for others, okay, who are less fortunate, okay, it will help motivate and build their self-esteem. We only learn how valuable something is when we do for others. And, and again, it goes back to biblical teachings. <laughs> what would Jesus do? Ha, 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 ha.